Hi and welcome everyone to this part in our course for electrical engineers uh, for uh, learning about AutoCAD program. So in this section of our course we will learn the basics of AutoCAD in order to um, draw our electrical system or in order to do the wiring, adding electrical components and etc. So the AutoCAD program is used by electrical engineers, used by mechanical engineers, civil engineers and of course architects. So let's start by the first step which is opening our AutoCAD program. So when you install the AutoCAD program it can be 2016, 2017, 2013 whatever the version you are using all of these versions are almost exactly similar to each other so in this uh, course we can start with uh, 2013 and any version above this so if you have 2013 it is okay and it will work just fine okay so the first step we will open our AutoCAD program like this here in this course I'm using uh, AutoCAD 2021 Okay, so we will wait for it okay so this is our interface for the program and the first step is that we would like to uh, start drawing okay so we would like to open a blank file start drawing like this and we will have this interface for our AutoCAD program so let's start step by step by learning what are these tools and how can we use them in uh, electrical design so the first thing that we have in electrical uh, or in AutoCAD is this menu. You see this A simple, this one, this is called the application menu. Okay, so you'll click on it and you'll find here different options. So if you would like to open a new file, a new electrical or a new drawing uh, for ourselves, we can say new then drawing to open a blank file here open for opening an existing file here save and save as to save our AutoCAD so for example if you have this drawing and you click on save as like this and go to desktop like this we can save our drawing and you will see here the type of file so for example I'm using 2021 right so if I know someone that uses that uses 2013 how can I export the file for him if you go down here you can see AutoCAD 2018 version or AutoCAD 2013 2020 and etc so I would like it in DWG DWG is a drawing that we use in all of our uh, files so we would like to save it as DWG 2013 for him okay so i'll select this option and the name of the drawing i will save it on desktop then uh, save like this so if i go down here you can see this is a drawing for uh, autocad uh, program dwg this is what extension that we use in our uh, drawings and this one is suitable for uh, 2013 okay so if someone had has 2013 it will work on their uh, pc completely okay now you will find that all of the files inside the course are all uh, 2013 okay so it can be suitable for any of you that are using the older versions okay so that is that so this is the application menu and you'll find here a publish send to an email um, uh, print and etc we will learn about more commands when we uh, go more deeply inside the uh, autocad section so that's the first one this is also called the quick access menu you can see here save open a new drawing exactly the same option that we had here okay now this part is called we have different menus home insert uh, parametric uh, parametric view uh, manage output and etc different menus forget about them for now we will get to each of them 
uh, when we need them during the uh, section or when we learn about this part. Now, this menu is called the quick access bar. This is called quick access bar. This is used to give us some commands quickly uh, for our program. For example, if you'd like to draw a line, you can simply click on like this and go anywhere and draw it like this. Keep clicking like this. Click, click for each one. Okay. Okay, so this is called the first, this one is a quick uh, quick access bar. This is one of the options to draw, for example, a line. We will learn about with it or how to draw a line and the other options in the next lessons. Okay. Then we have another bar called the command bar. This one, if you go it up like this, like this. You will see all of the options that we have done save. Then you can see here we had erase. We deleted the lines. And then before it, we had a line. You can see a line. Then next point, next point, and etc. All what we have done. So let's put this for now down here. This is important as when we do anything, for example, line, you can see here, selected the command line. It says specify first point. So I would like to select the first point in our program like this. Then it says, hey, specify next point. So I will go like this, select this. Okay, then it says next point like this. And then you have undo to reverse what you have done or close. Okay, so we will get to this when we go to line drawing. For now, click on escape to get out of all of this. Then we have this uh, bar, which we call the status bar. This one has some options that will be helpful for us. And we have this bar, which is called the layout, the model which we are working on and we add all of our wiring. We have other types of layout, as you can see here. Leave them for now. We will learn about them when we need them. Okay, this video is just for uh, an introduction on uh, AutoCAD, how it looks like. Okay, then we have this, this is called for elevation. Then these are some of the mouse commands, okay? Now, as you can see here also, we have drawing one. You can add another drawing by clicking here. It will open another drawing. Then we can open another one like this and etc. So, what is the benefit of this is that we can do click like this to open a new drawing or you can say click on new like this or open an existing drawing. So what is the benefit of something like this? Let's say you have our electrical drawing and we have another drawing for mechanical system, another drawing for a civil engineer. So we have to look at them in order to install our um, lumineers in the right location. For example, if we have uh, some lumineers, let's draw a rectangle like this, rectangle like this, rectangle, and we draw it like this. Okay, now in this drawing, let's say we have our civil engineer, uh, draw another rectangle like this, okay, like this, okay. So this is a room, for example, and this one is uh, a part of the civil uh, construction of the room. So it means that if I would like to install my own lumineers, I can't install anyone here. I have to move it to the right and left away from this uh, construction part. So I wouldn't know this if I didn't see this part from the civil engineer. So I will go to my own drawing and model one uh, and here i will put my own lumineers in another location i can just so we can for example copy this one from here and go to here and at paste it here we will learn about this in the next lessons okay so this will help us in um, drawing or adding our lumineers in the correct position or um, editing our drawing let's say if i would like to uh, change the 
uh, options or the display or the background what i'm going to do simply i will click on right click then click on options like this okay then i'm going to display like this and go to colors okay colors then if i would like to change this background we usually use that the black background so for example if i would like to use the white background i will just click here and choose any color i would like or white like this then apply and close you can see our background change it into white okay then i will go back we usually use the uh, black one because it's clear and helps us okay in older uh, versions of uh, AutoCAD, we can also go to options by right click and options uh, in the in all of the uh, versions. In older versions, we can find it here in AutoCAD. Then you can find here options down here or here like this. It was exactly here. You can click here and you will go to the same uh, menu. OK, so this is was just an introduction to AutoCAD program.